Hey folks, it's Jim, back again. I've got another uh, Blue Bricks review here for you. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, just knock out a quick video here for you. Had a lot of fun building this one. Uh, today, we're gonna talk about uh, the uh, Blue Bricks Pro model for the Romulan Bird of Prey, original series Romulan Bird of Prey. Uh, this was in uh, an episode of the original series, it was in an episode of uh, Picard, uh, briefly, <laughs> for one, one little moment. But uh, if you're curious, uh, so Blue Bricks uh, is a uh, German company that has the license to make building block toys for the Star Trek uh, uh, license, you know, the Star Trek franchise. Uh, it is the closest we're going to get to Star Trek Lego sets. Um, Blue Bricks is uh, very comparable to Lego pieces in terms of the, uh, the weight, the quality, the color, um, just the feel of the bricks. Uh, very similar to Lego. In fact, I mentioned in my other video that if you were to put a bowl of Blue Bricks pieces and a bowl of Lego pieces in front of me, blindfolded me, I would probably struggle to tell the difference just by feel, whether one's Lego and one's Blue Bricks. Uh, so I've been really happy overall with the quality of their um, of their parts and their sets and stuff. So for this video, I thought I'd talk about the Romulan Bird of Prey. Uh, so this is uh, on their website, bluebricks.com, a German company again, so there's no US distributor yet as far as I can tell. Uh, so if you order from them, you'll have to wait for the sets to go through customs and shipping and all that stuff usually takes about three weeks, maybe a little bit longer, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is a 238-piece set. Pretty straightforward overall. Uh, there were a few challenging parts of the build, so I, I think uh, anyone younger than 10 might struggle with it a little bit. Uh, there are no age ranges on the box, I'm, I'm noticing. Oh, there's maybe something on the bottom. Uh, no, actually there's not. Uh, well, except zero, 0 to 3, right? No kids, 0 to 3. You don't want them eating pieces, obviously. There are a lot of small parts in here. But, um, uh, again, there was a few challenging moments to the build. Uh, even for me, a uh, you know, lifelong fan of LEGO and Builder. Uh, Blue Bricks really likes to, um, to build uh, top-down instead of bottom-up, like LEGO tends to do. And so there's just a couple of weird constructions that uh, I'm just not, like, I'm hardwired to do it bottom up like uh, like Lego does most of the time. Uh, so there's just a, a little bit of adjustments there. There's a couple of very, very, very tiny pieces that are very fiddly. Um, Blue Bricks has this great little piece that, that fits underneath a Lego or underneath a brick and you kind of have to wedge it into place with an with a, a antenna piece. And um, I think little kids might struggle with the, the very fine work on, of that to some extent. Um, but you know, other than that, it, it overall, went, overall went pretty well. So this, uh, so this uh, set it has a little um, pull-out tray, which is kind of handy. Uh, instruction booklet, uh, full-color instruction booklet, nice thick paper. Uh, very similar to what LEGO does with their sets. Uh, very clear, very clear, easy to follow instructions. On the inside, you can see the, the instructions are well numbered. Uh, good pictures, etc. The one exception I would say to this, though, is that um, the, uh, this particular set has both light gray pieces and dark gray pieces in it. And it is really hard to tell. I mean, unless you're looking at the inventory, uh, it's really hard to tell the difference between those two colors in the plans. And there was one step right at the very beginning, right near the very beginning, that was asking for a, a two by two plate. And just by looking at the <laughs> at the picture, I thought for sure it was a light gray plate because there was so much light gray in the set. And uh, I spent 20 minutes going through that pile of pieces, like where is the two by two? And I was convinced for a while there that they just you know missed a part. But then I did a little more digging and a little more research. I, I went further into the book just to try to figure out what am I missing here. And it turns out it was actually dark gray. So uh, that's great. But uh, I, I just wish that their their instructions were just a little bit more clear on the colors. Uh, to be honest, I had the same issue with uh, with Lego. Their um, black, dark blue, and dark green uh, when they when they um, are represented in a in a booklet. The, those three shades, I guess, for my eyes maybe, or just the way it's printed. The dark blue, dark gray, and black and dark green. Like all those colors are really, really close to each other in the book. And when you've got all those pieces in the set, you're like, which one am I doing here? Then you gotta look at the box and everything else. Anyway, so the uh, the booklet, nice thick, heavy paper, nice clear um, numbering, nice clear instructions. Uh, there were five bags in this set. Uh, two of them were numbered number one, but like there are no, there is no numbering uh, to this. It's not that big of a set. There's not enough you know, bags or pieces for it to, uh, you know, do bag one, then do bag two, then do bag three, like you would see in current Lego sets. Uh, so this one, I just kind of ended up just dumping all the pieces into a tray 
and just you know hunting and pecking for the pieces I needed, uh, which is fine because uh, this is a smallish set. Um, although there are days where it would be nice to have more detail, right? Uh, and then extra pieces, you know, just like Lego, uh, you always get extra pieces with some of the small stuff. So the one by one tile, the the one by one half circle there, three quarter circle, whatever, uh, the pegs, you know, other stuff, etc. A few extra pieces, I'll just throw them in the box, no big deal. Uh, nice heavyweight uh, cardboard box if that matters to you. Um, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna save these boxes because at some point, someday, I'll probably um, um, sell these uh, or or not. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, there's a the box, nice, nice heavy, thick solid box. Now as far as the model itself, again this is a 238 piece build. Uh, it only took me about, I don't know, half hour, 40 minutes if that. And uh, really, really nice details I think overall. There's the model, at the top or you know side model. Uh, it comes with a, a little uh, name placard for the Romulan Bird of Prey. I love these little name placards, it's great. Original series logo, uh, name there. Uh, you can see the model, you know, there's the, there's the front, sides, there's the top of it, right? Look, I mean, it really looks great. And then um, we'll take it off the stand here. So the stand, again, uh, like with the other one, they try to make the faction stands kind of interesting. So I think that's supposed to sort of kind of be the Romulan symbol. Um, actually, I guess it should be that way, shouldn't it? <laughs> um, so not quite perfect, because like where the, where the ship stand is was probably where the head should be. Um, so I'm assuming it, because that's what it looks like the tail and the wings. Um, as opposed to that, yeah, anyway. Uh, so this was pretty easy to throw together. Um, you know, nice little stand, nice, very solid construction. This isn't, uh, you know, hollow on the inside. This is just bricks on bricks on bricks. And uh, that came together really nicely. And then the ship itself just fits onto the stand, uh, so no issues there. Uh, as far as the model itself, again, there's the, there's the top of the model and the side, side profile, and then the bottom, which I think looks pretty cool. It's got kind of got the, the Warbird uh, livery on it, kind of the look and feel here with the, it, they even use these pieces to kind of give it like that feathered, feathered shape a little bit. Uh, this is a kind of a, um, a, a gold uh, tone to these bricks here. Lego has a very similar tone to their gold. Uh, they don't use bricks quite as, as heavily as uh, Blue Bricks does. So like you can see, these pieces are the same shape as a lot of Lego pieces, but the colors are a little different. And I think that's just a really slick uh, touch there to do, to use that gold um, on on bricks as well. The um, the wings are um, are articulated, so you can angle the wings whatever way you want. Uh, that was just a nice little build. This is a really solid construction. I mean, this is a this is one big like the fuselage is one big layer of plates, and then stuff is uh, put on top using uh, snot construction. If you're familiar with Lego. Uh, snot, S-N-O-T, is studs not on top construction. So they use um, uh, bricks that have studs on the sides and studs in different directions. So it's not your traditional old school, you know, building from the bottom up. You can build on the sides, you can build in different angles, etc. And you can see that's how you can get some of these plates to look upside down on both sides and, uh, and make it work. Nacelles are pretty cool. Uh, those are uh, Technic pieces that are folded into, or you know, uh, plugged into uh, cylinders and whatnot. So it looks pretty straightforward there. Just a little bit of detail on the uh, on the nacelles on the blue there. Um, anything else to add? Overall, the uh, the construction again pretty easy. The fit of the piece of the pieces pretty solid. I think uh, there's a couple little gaps here and there, uh, but nothing super noticeable. I, you know, I'm being picky, but uh, um, I think their engineering capabilities are almost as good as Lego. But like if you were to look. At, I don't know if you can get really close, like there's just a little bit of gap up in here, and I've, I've got it pretty solidly squeezed in, but there's just a little bit of a gap there. Uh, so I think their um, engineering is, is, you know, probably like 90% to where Lego is. Of course, Lego's been doing this for 60 plus years, and they've got down to a, an art form, basically. Um, so, yeah, so yeah, really nice use of color. Uh, the little the little uh, gold flashes here and there, strategically used. Uh, nice model design in terms of like the greebling and the, just the overall design of the spine and the bridge, and uh, especially this. I thought this was just a really nice nice look as it all came together. Getting that that bird, you know, raptor kind of look and feel on the bottom there. Uh, so yeah, so let me put this back on the stand. Right. Right there. So that is the 
Star Trek original series, Romulan Bird of Prey original series uh, by Blue Bricks is a, a German company. Again, go check them out if you're interested. Uh, again, this was a 238-piece uh, set. Didn't take long to build. Uh, very swooshable for those of you who like to take ships and just kind of like you know swoosh them around. Uh, I mean, come on, we're <laughs> we're all kids at heart here, right? Uh, but anyway, so there's there's that. Uh, it is not to scale with the uh, Cardassian Galar class I reviewed the other day, uh, but that's fine. I don't think Blue Bricks had any intention of making these scale to each other. So um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and comment, or like and subscribe if you want. Uh, any questions on this thing, let me know in the comments below. And uh, otherwise, I hope you have a great day. I'll have more uh, Blue Bricks reviews here coming for you soon. And uh, and then more Star Trek Adventure stuff too here pretty soon. I'm going to be doing some Captain's Log stuff at some point. But we're talking about Blue Bricks, so uh, call it good there. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.